Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into it. So, um, yeah, I'm horrible. I'm trash. I haven't uploaded in a while. I know. I'm sorry. But that's not why I'm uploading today. Um, I've been getting a lot of text messages and emails and uh, stuff on Facebook about the whole coronavirus outbreak here in Korea and my family's concerns. So I thought I'd do a video update basically talking about some of the issues that is happening here um, and what I'm seeing and what I've experienced um, and stuff like that. So. For those who don't know, recently I posted on my Instagram story, um, well actually just on my Instagram, um, that my neighborhood had been contaminated <clears throat> in Seoul. Um, so basically somebody had visited the area I live in and they had the virus. What ended up happening was the department store and all of the places that had food um, closed down their shops so they could deep clean the entire thing and they deep cleaned the entire station because this happened at the station where there is a KTX um, outpost <clears throat> so as you can imagine I was freaking out um, and that prompted all of my relatives back home to freak out and I thought okay let's talk about it one I'm fine I am still on vacation um, universities have all public universities in Korea have been told to start their semester two weeks later. So instead of March 2nd, which is next week, um, they are now starting March 16th. Private universities had the option. However, they were strongly recommended to do so. So my private university decided that they would do the two weeks. So I am still on vacation, will be on vacation for the next two weeks. Um, I really haven't left my house because it's actually um, a government, not mandate, but like recommendation that you really don't go to super crowded places. You don't try to leave your house. You basically just like stay in to help not prevent the, like not spread the virus and not catch the virus and stuff like that. So I haven't been leaving the house. Um, so that's that. Hagwans and public schools Public schools are like public universities and they have a two week um, pushback of their semester as well. Hagwans, it's you can do it, but we're not forcing you. But a lot of parents are concerned, so they are being kind of forced to close. Um, a lot of Hagwans aren't open this week or maybe even next week um, because of the viral outbreak that is happening. Um, the government hilariously has sent out flyers to all foreign residents, but not Korean residents, at least to my knowledge. Um, I have not seen, at least in my neighborhood. So I, again, this is, this is just my area in Seoul. Um, I got a little text message, not a text message. I got a little flyer. I threw it away because it pissed me the fuck off, but I got a little flyer in the mail. So did all of my Chinese neighbors. Um, I got a little flyer in the mail that said how to prevent coronavirus. This was when the first case happened in Korea. Um, but surprisingly enough, because I caught the, the mail right as it had gotten here, because again, vacation. Um, surprisingly enough, no Koreans in the building, my landlords, got that flyer. Okay. So maybe it's just the foreign residents in this area because I do live in the most foreign populated area in Seoul, um, mostly Chinese, which is fine. And actually a lot of people are concerned because I do live in a very big Chinese neighborhood and I really haven't, other, other, other than recently with the KTX station that's right here, I haven't really seen anything or heard anything um, negative. Again, I don't leave my house. Um, the other thing is most of the cases in Korea, while there are a few in Seoul, um, there are a few in Gyeonggi-do, which is the surrounding region, most of them are near Daegu because of that cult church thing 
um, in Daegu. And that woman who refused, apparently, this is what I've been reading, apparently this woman refused to get tested for the virus because she hasn't, she just refused. And I don't know how, like my thought process in this entire thing is I don't know how she has a high fever. She has all the symptoms of this virus and she doesn't get tested. I don't know if this is accurate reporting. I saw it on one of the Korean newspapers here, um, but something's fishy with that. Like, why are we allowing people who have symptoms to not be tested for it and then allowing them to go to their church and all over the city and outside of the city and not having any anything happen to them? Like, it's just weird. And recently, the head of the... Daegu health organization s ended up being part of that cult when he found out that he had the virus and he was going to keep it quiet because he didn't want to be in trouble. Like, why, what goes through people's brains when things like this happen? That it's okay to do that. That it's okay to basically infect everybody, you know? And then back. So I guess what I just, I don't understand how, how you could be that selfish. Like you, you know, you have the symptoms, you know, what's going on in the country, you know, what's going on, not in the country. Cause she was technically the, the 31st case. You, you know, that like China's having a problem, but you yourself don't go get tested. Even though you've been to China, like from what I've heard, heard as well, she's been to China. I just don't understand that process of it. Um, Another thing I don't understand is the government response. Like, I know they're trying their hardest and they did raise the threat level for the virus and stuff up to the most severe that they could or whatever, but I just don't understand how, how do you let this happen? How, how do you lose track of individuals from this cult. Yes, I know that they, they hide themselves, apparently. They don't give real identities. Um, they lie about their association with the church, i.e. that health inspector, the top, like, guy in the, in Daegu. Like, I know people lie and stuff, but at the same time, like, we're, they're literally tracking Chinese students via their cell phones because they're, they're concerned about Chinese students bringing the virus here and they're not going to be self-quarantining and, you know, forcing them to quarantine, um, whatever. But they're tracking these students through their phone, but they can't do the same for a cult that is basically mass infecting an entire... I get that they're Korean citizens and we have this weird nationalistic whatever against Chinese people. I... Oh. Let's not get into it. Huh. But I still, like, I don't understand a lot of what's going on. <laughs> and because of that, I don't do a lot. Like, I literally don't leave my house. I've left my house a couple times to get food so I can eat. Um, and when I do, I put a mask on. I've left to go to the doctor. Um, I had a health check for my yearly health check scheduled for tomorrow. I canceled it because I'm like, I'm not traveling at 8 a.m. on line one to go to the hospital when it's the busiest time for that line and I'm not going to be in a crowded area. Like, the hospital may not have any infected, the area might not have any infected, but I'm not going to do that like I don't know and I know people have jobs and people have to go to jobs and like I'm not trying to say don't use public transportation it makes total sense why people are still using public transportation what doesn't make sense is protests the government literally said please avoid large groups of people please avoid protests we know it's your right to protest it is a right to protest but in situations like this, why are people gathering 
to protest. You're more than likely, if somebody has the, infec the infection, you're going to get it. Like, that's how diseases work. People, like, that's how this is spreading. Well, we don't really know how it's spreading. But it's like, the government literally says, do not, try not to go into large public places unless you absolutely have to. Why? Why? I just... There's so much I don't understand and so much that I'm just kind of processing and stuff that I'm just like, why is this even, you know? I don't know. I'm babbling. Anyway, I'm fine. No issues. I haven't left my house. Don't worry, fam. It's all good. Um, I love you and I'll hopefully upload next week. <laughs> Bye, guys.